who are the messiest survivor players of all time who are the worst players of all time really i have often wondered this myself and when i stumbled on an article by the true dork times link in the description i realized that there was a way to measure this there is a way to figure out which players are the messiest of all time put simply how many votes have they received whether negated by an idol or not because really votes against are the only way to objectively really judge how messy a player is right but there's more to it how many tribals did they attend so you know the same number of votes over less tribals is more messy than someone who went to more tribals and got the same number of votes and of course the big one how many times did you get voted out because i think that's even more important than everything else so let's do this the 10 messiest players of all time Starting with number 10. Philip Shepard of seasons 22 and 26 lands on this list despite being the only one here who was voted out one time. Shocker considering how he was constantly making enemies, but I think we can all agree Boston Rob kind of protected him for a reason. Starting with season 22 Redemption Island, he received two votes in episode one, two votes in episode two, three votes in episode four, five votes in episode nine, three votes in episode 10, it just keeps going, one vote in episode 12, and one vote in episode 14, totaling 17 in his first season. And yet, he was never voted out, and he finishes in second place. Wow. Thanks, Boston Rob. In Philip's return in Karamoan, aka Fans vs. Favorites 2, he played a lot cleaner game, statistically speaking, as his sole vote against him was only from Brandon in episode 5 when the dude completely freaked out. That is until episode 10, when... Philip. One vote Philip. Two votes Philip. Eleven person voted out, the second member of our jury. Philip. Philip, the tribe has spoken. Thank you. Philip Shepard got 22 votes over 20 tribal councils and was voted out one time. Number nine. Joe Anglum of seasons 30, 31, and 38 makes this list easily. And I bet you saw this one coming if you're a Survivor fan. Joe couldn't do anything without being targeted due to his immunity prowess. Starting with Worlds Apart, he received three votes in episode six, and then in episode nine. Joe. Joe. Joe, hide again. Joe, ninth person voted out and the second member of our jury. Joe. Joe? Tribe spoken. Thanks, Joe. He couldn't make it through one post-merge tribal council without immunity around his neck. And uh, keep track of that. That's going to be a trend we're going to see from here on out for him. So we jump one season forward to Cambodia's second chances, where Joe is literally immune through the entire pre-merge. His tribe just keeps winning. I mean, they just dominate. And then he wins four individual immunity challenges in a row in the post-merge. Is there any wonder he becomes such a big target? It takes until episode 11 when he is finally eligible to be voted off and he gets two votes. So in episode 12, first vote, Joe, Joe, two votes, Joe, Joe, that's three votes, Joe, 12th person voted out, the sixth member of our jury, Joe, Joe, the tribe has spoken. Good luck, y'all. I am personally surprised he wasn't just eliminated in episode 11, but uh, yeah. He's eliminated just one episode later, and he's brought back once again in Season 38, Edge of Extinction, where his tribe is dominating. Yet again, what a shocker, they never lose immunity in the whole pre-merge. So in Episode 6, at the first post-merge vote... Joe. Joe. That's two votes, Joe. 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 That's four votes, Joe. Seventh person voted out and the fourth member of our jury. Joe. Joe. The tribe has spoken. Joe received 22 votes, the same number as Philip Shepard, but he only attended 12 tribal councils. And in reality, he was only eligible to be voted out in seven of those 12. And of course, he was voted off three times. So, so messy. Heads up, this video was selected and created back in September of 2023 at the request of my patrons on Patreon. If you wanna pick what I make and watch everything up to six months early, then consider joining them. Link in the description. Now with that, number eight. Here we go, Laura Moret, Sierra's mom, played on seasons 19 and 27, and frankly, when I started making this video, she was not someone I thought was going to make this list, but since revotes are being counted, I mean, why shouldn't they be? It makes sense that she lands here. In season 19 Samoa, she plays a very clean statistical game through the first nine episodes, but her two immunity wins and her feud with Shambo leads to this epic episode 10 tribal council where first vote 
Laura. Natalie. One vote, Laura. One vote, Natalie. Natalie. Two votes, Natalie. Laura. Two votes, Laura. Laura. That's three votes, Laura. Natalie. That's four votes, Laura. Natalie. Laura. Natalie. We have a tie. Here's how the tie is going to work. Laura and Natalie, you will not vote. Everybody else will vote. You can only vote for Laura or Natalie. First vote. Laura. Two votes, Laura. Laura. That's three votes, Laura. Natalie. Natalie. Tied again. Laura. That's four votes, Laura. Three votes, Natalie. One vote left. Ninth person voted out in the third member of our jury. Laura. Laura, the Travis Spoken. Laura comes back again in season 27, Blood vs. Water, with her daughter, Sierra Easton. And this time, she is clearly a big target, as in episode 1, she gets three votes right away, and in episode 5, the only other tribal she attends this season... Laura M. Laura M. Laura M. Laura M. That's four votes, Laura M. Fifth person voted out of Survivor Blood vs. Water, Laura M. Laura, the tribe has spoken. However, due to the Redemption Island twist, players can earn their way back in the game via a challenge, and she does just that by being a challenge beast, similar, in fact, to her challenge performance in Samoa. However, come episode 10, people want her gone. Her daughter Sierra says, Mom, I have to do the unthinkable. I have to vote you out. Some call that a war crime, but Laura doesn't understand why. Not that it matters for this video, as... First vote, Laura, Laura, Laura. That's three votes, Laura. Laura, that's four votes, Laura. 11th person voted out of Survivor Blood versus Water. Laura, Laura, for the second time, the tribe has spoken. Sierra voted out her own mother. Oh, the humanity across Laura's two seasons. She gets 24 votes in only 10 tribal councils and was voted out three times. Number seven, Boston Rob of seasons four, eight, 20, 22, and 40 is either hot or cold depending on the season he's on, but I think it's to be expected that someone who plays five times would make this list. But let's do this. Survivor Marquesas, he controls the Maramu tribe, and when he switched to row two, that's when things heat up. He gets a stray vote in episode five, and then in episode seven, right after making the merge. First vote, Rob, John. John. Zoe. Rob. Three votes, Rob. Four votes, Rob. Rob. Seventh person voted out of the tribe. Boston Rob. Rob, the tribe has spoken. Boston Rob returns in season eight All Stars, but uh, yeah. Surprisingly, he only gets one vote against him all season from Rupert in episode 16. It really helped that he's only eligible to be voted off in four of the 16 episodes this season. So we jump forward to season 20, Heroes vs. Villains, and they aren't messing around here. Every tribal he is eligible for votes, he gets some. He catches a stray in episode 3, and then in episode 7... First vote. Rob. Rob. Two votes, Rob. Rob. That's three votes, Rob. Eighth person voted out of Survivor Heroes vs. Villains. Rob. Rob, the tribe has spoken. Boston Rob then charges back in only two seasons later, where he is hated by the other tribe come the merge. And I get it. Boston Rob was being a controlling jerk. He gets four votes in episode nine, two votes in episode 11, one vote in the finale, but it was negated by his idol. And then... First vote! Rob. Rob. Two votes, Rob. Rob. That's three votes, Rob. Rob. That's four votes, Rob. The winner of Survivor Redemption Island, Rob. I figured I should probably include that moment since Boston Rob is the only winner in this video despite it taking four chances to make that happen, but we all know he plays for a fifth time. I mean, I said it earlier. He returns in season 40, Winners at War, where he tries his same old tactics that got him the win. I mean, that worked on newbies, but it's not working on winners. So right after the tribe swap, they let him have it in episode five. Rob. Rob. Two votes, Rob. 
Six person voted out of Survivor. Winners at war. Rob, that's three. That's enough. Rob, Trump has spoken. Boston Rob received 25 votes across 33 tribal councils and was voted off three times, albeit he did win once. Number six. Considering how much of a villain Jerry Manthe of seasons 2, 8, and 20 was perceived, her spot here, it makes sense. In the Australian Outback, she caught a couple of stray votes in episodes 2 and 3, but by the time the merch hit, the other tribe figured out that no one really likes her and targets her with four votes in episode 8, but then in the very next tribal council... First vote. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Jerry. Jerry. Two votes Elizabeth, two votes Jerry. Three votes Jerry. Four votes Jerry. Five votes Jerry. That's enough. Checkmate, you guys got me. Jerry, tribe has spoken. 12 votes in one season, we sure are off to a strong start. Jerry returns in All-Stars and again catches three stray votes across episodes 7 and 8, but then the biggest moment of the pre-merch happens when Boston Rob tells Lex to save Amber, which unfortunately means that what is about to happen is not really Jerry's fault at all. Jerry. Jerry. Ninth person voted out of Survivor All-Stars. Jerry. Jerry, the job has spoken. Complete garbage vote out. I objectively have to count it, but complete garbage nonetheless. We jump to season 20, Heroes vs. Villains, where Jerry is much more low key this season as she gets only one vote against her in the entire pre merge from Courtney. But then come the actual merge vote. A massive move is made when. Jerry, that one's for you too. Damn it. These are both hidden immunity idols. Any votes cast for Sandra or Jerry will not count. Jerry does 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 not count. 11th person voted out and the third member of our jury, JT. Wow, I mean, those five votes still count for our purposes here, but thank the parvity that Jerry was saved. She then has a clean post-merge game until the final four when everyone was like, yeah, we can't beat you at the end, so. Jerry, Jerry. 17th person voted out and the ninth and final member of our jury. Jerry. Jerry, job support. Jerry Manthe racked up 28 votes across 24 tribal councils and was voted off three times. Number five. Next up on the list is Jonathan Penner, who, like Jerry Manthe, was notoriously a villain in his first season until his image changed in his last season playing. He played on seasons 13, 16, and 25, and starting with Cook Islands, we saw Penner catching stray vote after stray vote as he was hammered non-stop from episodes six through 10, with a break finally in episode 11, before catching three more votes in episode 12, which then culminated in episode 13 with... Jonathan. Jonathan. Two votes, Jonathan. Jonathan. Three votes, Jonathan. 14th person voted out the sixth member of our jury. Jonathan. Jonathan, tribe spoken. And I'd like my hat back at some point. 15 votes in one season. Impressive. Well, we can skip his second season, Micronesia, because no one votes for him. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't win due to his medical evacuation, but he didn't receive one vote against him. So we jump to season 25, Philippines, where despite being a heroic character now, him being a returnee is more than enough to catch a stray vote in episode 6, but then in episode 7... Thank you. You're welcome. This is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast against Penner will not count. First vote. Penner does not count. RC. That's one vote RC. Jonathan Penner does not count. Pete. One vote Pete. Penner. Three votes Penner. None of them count. RC. Two votes RC. John Penner does not count. Pete, two votes Pete. Penner does not count. RC, eighth person voted out the first member of our jury. RC, RC, Trap is spoken. Great idol play. I mean, great idol play. He negated five votes, but this doesn't stop the onslaught as he gets four more in episode nine. And then in episode 11, Lisa and Scoop and take revenge on Penner for not joining their alliance as soon as they offered. So. 
Denise. Penner. Two votes, Denise. Jonathan. Denise. Penner. Twelfth person voted out and the fifth member of our jury. Penner. Can I have a hug too? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna hug anybody else. Penner? Travis Bowden. Keep your sunny side up and suck eggs. Jonathan Penner got 29 votes across 18 tribal councils and was voted off twice. Though all 29 votes did come in only two seasons, which is quite impressive. Number four, Kelly Wentworth of seasons 29, 31, and 38 is a huge character, great strategist, but extremely, extremely messy. Despite being sneaky sneaky, she was a big target far more often than she wanted. In her first season, Blood vs. Water 2, she received one vote in episode four, and then in episode five, Kelly, Kelly, two votes Kelly, fifth person voted out of Survivor Blood vs. Water. Kelly. Oh. Kelly? Trump spoken. Mind you, those were the only two tribals she attended that season, so one might think being eliminated so quickly and early in her first season would lower her target tremendously in her return in Cambodia Second Chances. And uh, yeah, I mean, kind of. She receives no votes against her in the first three tribals she attends, but then in episode eight. Oh my god, I love this. This is a hidden immunity oh. item. Any votes cast for Wentworth will not count. 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 Eighth person voted out the second member of our jury. Savage. She negated nine votes. Wow. They still count on this list, but she would have been gone if not for her idol play. In episode nine, she gets two more votes, but then nothing until the finale, when she plays another idol to negate three more votes, and then in the final four. Wentworth, Wentworth, that's two votes Wentworth. 16th person voted out and the 10th and final member of our jury, Kelly Wentworth. Wentworth, Travis spoke. Good luck, guys. See you tomorrow. 17 votes in that season alone, and she still has one more season to go with season 38, Edge of Extinction. And you better believe that her incredible performance in season 31 is the reason for all the votes she's about to get. Because she catches some strays in episodes one and two, episode three gets her two more votes, episode six gets her two more votes, episode seven gets her two more votes, episode eight gets her one vote, and then in episode nine... Wentworth. Wentworth. Two votes, Wentworth. Wentworth, that's three votes Wentworth. Wentworth, we're tied. 11th person voted out and the eighth member of our jury. Wentworth, Wentworth, Travis spoke. Wow, Kelly Wentworth received 31 votes across 24 tribal councils and was voted off three times. Number three, Sierra Easton. Yes, the same lady who voted out her own mom earlier in this video played on seasons 27, 31, and 34. But obviously she becomes such a huge target in large part due to that vote out of her own mother. I will explain that in a bit. But for her first season, Blood vs. Water, she catches stray votes in episodes two and three, and then a concentrated effort by the men to vote her off in episode four, which fails. And then she gets two more votes in episode eight, three more votes in episode 11. But then in the finale, Sierra. 15th person voted out and the seventh member of our jury, Sierra. Sierra, the tribe has spoken. 14 votes in her first season, but in bigger news, Jeff Probst will not seemingly shut up about Sierra getting rid of her mom as if it's the biggest move of all time in the history of Survivor. So when she returns in Cambodia, second chances, she is a target. Four votes against her in episode seven, three votes against her in episode nine, and then in episode 10. Sierra. Sierra, two votes, Sierra. Tenth person voted out and the fourth member of our jury. Sierra, Sierra, the tribe is spoken. Let's not screw around, guys. The mother snuffer returns in Game Changers, and of course, she voted off her own mother, so Game Changer, obviously. And that's only three seasons after her last season, and Jeff's love for her has not died down at all. So of course she's still a big target, which means in the very first episode of this season, Sierra. Sierra, 
That's three votes, Sierra. 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 That's five votes, Sierra. First person voted out of Survivor Game Changers. Sierra. Sierra. Travis Spoken. Sierra Easton netted 32 votes against her across 19 tribal councils attended and was voted off three times. Number two. Ozzy Lust of seasons 13, 16, 23, and 34 had to be the number one person we all thought of when I said votes against is how we're judging this list. But no, somehow he is only number two. Yeah. Believe it or not, in his first season, Cook Islands, he only gets one vote against him in episode two. That's it. He goes on to finish in second place, though, so good for him. We move on to season 16, of Micronesia. Fans vs. Favorites, where he catches a couple of stray votes in episodes 1, 7, and 9, but then comes episode 10. The opportunity to knock out the challenge beast is far too tempting for the others. Ozzy. 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 Tenth person voted out of Survivor Fans vs. Favorites and the second member of our jury. Ozzy. Ozzy. Travis Spoken. Ozzy was so incredibly mad and butthurt about that. Anyways, his third time playing is why we all saw him being on this list coming from a mile away. Season 23 South Pacific has Ozzy not getting any votes until he asked for them. That's right, knowing Redemption Island is there for him to get back in the game by being a challenge beast, something he's really good at. He volunteers to be voted off in episode seven as a strategic move. So, Ozzy. Two votes, Ozzy. Ozzy, seventh person voted out of Survivor South Pacific. Lucky seven. <laughs> Ozzy, need to bring me a torch. Ozzy, the tribe has spoken. As he predicted, he does win his way back into the game, making his strategic move all that more impressive. But then the merge vote does not go his way. So the first chance the majority has to target him results in... First vote, Ozzy. Ozzy, two votes Ozzy. Ozzy, three votes Ozzy. Ozzy, that's four votes, Ozzy. Ozzy, that's five votes, Ozzy. Ninth person voted out of Survivor South Pacific. Ozzy, that's six, that's enough. Ozzy, once again, Travis Spoken. That one was not on purpose, obviously. He, he didn't want to be voted off that time, but Cochran really screwed him. I would argue Ozzy screwed himself, but that's for a different video. He once again dominates Redemption Island all season until he returns in the finale and at the final four vote, where... First vote. Ozzy. Ozzy. Two votes, Ozzy. 17th person voted out of Survivor South Pacific and the ninth and final member of our jury. Ozzy, need to bring your torch. Third time's a charm, baby. Ozzy. Charlie spoken. 17 votes against him in one season to get him voted off three times. And we're not even done yet. Oh no. Because he comes back in season 34 Game Changers, which has popped up here a couple times in this list, and it won't stop. Ozzy is back, and this time he's viewed as less of a threat, but he's still a threat, as everyone holds off from voting him off until episode seven. Ozzy, Ozzy, two votes Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, four votes Ozzy. Ozzy, that's five votes Ozzy. Ninth person voted out, the second member of our jury. Ozzy, Ozzy, job spoken. Ozzy acquired 34 votes against him in 30 tribal councils and was voted off a whopping five times. Number one, our queen of messy players is Andrea Belke of seasons 22, 26, and 34. Funny how these seasons have all popped up multiple times in this list. Anyways, in season 22, Redemption Island, Andrea flies under the radar until episode 12 when... Andrea. Andrea. Andrea, 14th person voted out. Andrea. Andrea, the tribe is spoken. Fun, but like Ozzy before her, I mean, not on purpose, but like Ozzy before her, she gets back in the game by winning a few competitions, but this is meaningless when Boston Rob has control. Why? Well, as soon as Andrea is back in the game, she is target numero uno, and... Andrea. Andrea, that's two votes, Andrea. 16th person voted out. Andrea, that's three, that's enough. Andrea, once again, drop spoken. <laughs> now, I am not 100% sure why Andrea goes from playing a middling game in Redemption Island to a massive target in her next season, Caramoan, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles as she gets 
four votes against her in episode one. I mean, right out the gate, they're going for her. Three votes against her in episode nine, three votes again in episode 11, and then in episode 12. Andrea. Andrea. What? 14th person voted out and the fifth member of our jury. Oh, you guys. Andrea. Andrea, chop spoken. This girl cannot catch a break, but to be fair, if she did catch a break, she wouldn't be number one on this list now, would she? So when Andrea returns on season 34 Game Changers, she is solid. She avoids being targeted until episode eight when she gets five votes against her, and then she gets three more against her in episode 10, but then the Grim Reaper known as Jeff Probst finally gets what he wants in episode 11 when... Andrea. Andrea. That's two votes, Andrea. Andrea. That's three votes, Andrea. Andrea. That's four votes, Andrea. Thirteenth person voted out and the sixth member of our jury. Andrea. Andrea, the tribe has spoken. Andrea nets a whopping 36 votes against her across 27 tribal councils and was voted off four times. Wow. Who do you think is the messiest survivor player of all time? Will anyone ever top Ozzy and Andrea? Comment below and let me know. Thank you for watching and doubly thanks for liking and subscribing. See you all next time.